everyone, welcome to my channel. Larissa is here, 61 and feeling fabulous. Move to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in 2021 and living my best life here. And so can you, friends. If you are planning on moving to Puerto Vallarta and want to have a detailed step-to-step -step information guide on how to move to Puerto Vallarta, make sure to email me to get added to my upcoming course, pre-sale VIP list. I have some questions from my subscribers. How much does it cost to live in Mexico in 2021? And how much are prices gone up since 2021 when I moved to Puerto Vallarta? So in today's video, we are gonna talk about cost of living in Puerto Vallarta in 2022. Renting an apartment or a house. Rent can be the biggest part of your expense here. Prices vary depending on area and the size of your home. You can easily rent an apartment for 300 US dollars, but it won't be near the beach. If you want to rent a small studio or apartment right on a beach, the price starts somewhere around 1500 US dollars a month. The average price for one bedroom apartment is about 800, but you can also find something around 500 US dollars a month depending on the area, is the development uh, furnished or not, uh, the location, also is the development renovated or not. You can rent a modern townhouse for 2000 or more, and there are plenty of luxurious opportunities for 5000 and higher. I live in Nuevo Vallarta and um, I'm renting a modern two bedroom apartment for 1200 US dollars a month. I have a video about my apartment. I'm gonna link it in the description below so you can watch it. So my yearly contract is getting close to the end and the rent for the next year would be the same, but I'm negotiating with my owner about lowering the price to 1000 US dollars and I'm gonna let you know how did it go. Cost of bills and utilities. For electricity, gas, water usage and internet, I pay about $50 a month. $15 for internet, $20 for gas and water usage, and I like to cook at home. And electricity is only $15, but I don't use AC very often. Just sometimes I turn it on just to cool down my apartment and turn it off. And I usually use just the fan. So total cost for a single person is about $50 a month. There are many apartments in Puerto Vallarta without washing machine. And if so, you have to do laundry and it costs about $3. But another option is to drop off your laundry, come back later on, pick up your clean clothes or fold it for you. And this service costs $5. Activities. As I love to surf very much, I want to start with how much does it cost to take a private lesson here and how much does it cost to rent the surf last year when i started to learn uh, how to surf i bought a package of five lessons private lessons for 200 us dollars and uh, my instructor provided a surfing board and each lesson was for at least three hours and i just talked to surfers from california and they told me in California, private lesson, one hour private lesson costs $100 and you have to bring your own board. Here to rent the board is about um, 5 to $15 um, an hour, depends where you rent it. Gym membership in Puerto Vallarta costs about 30 to $40 a month. Uh, yoga class, Pilates class, about $25 but there are plenty of free activities. Like, look, you can paddleboard, you can swim. When you learn how to surf, you can surf for free. And um, in high season, you can find many yoga classes right on the beach. 
um, I'm volunteering myself. I teach the yoga class and everyone walking by are welcome to join my class. And there are hiking opportunities, a lot of hiking here in Puerto Vallarta. And you can just grab your equipment and come in the morning to the beach to do your own workout. That's what I do very often. grocery shopping and eating out. Supermarkets in Mexico are big and modern and have a great selection of food. I find all necessary products for myself. I prefer to shop at the farmer markets or in special small stores. In my experience, I find the products um, are fresher and cheaper. So I give you an example of um, the prices. Uh, it's early morning and today I went to La Cruz fish market to, to buy fresh, uh, freshly caught fish from the sea, not farmed. And my favorite fish is Sierra, which is mackerel, really high in omega-3. And um, look what I got. Open this Tupperware. There we go. So here is a three big fish in and debone for me. Um, it cost me um, 180 pesos. So the price used to be 40 pesos, $2 per kilo. Now, today I paid 50 pesos, which is $2.50. So in total, I paid 200 pesos, $10, including tip for cleaning it for me. And um, I think it would last me for, for a while. So I'll probably make seven or eight meals. Another example, I wanna give you how much organic milk costs here. I like to buy organic, not homogenized uh, milk to make my own kefir and yogurt and soft cheese. Uh, the price uh, for one liter organic, not homogenized milk is 20 pesos, $1. Price is the same as it was last year. If you prefer to buy organic homogenized milk, uh, it's 34 pesos right now, $1.75, used to be 30 pesos, $1.50. So yes, price went a little bit up, but still very affordable. In total, I spent about $400 a month on groceries. Cafes and restaurants in Mexico are very affordable and the food is delicious. I give you some examples um, of the prices on eating out street tacos for 50 cents to $1. And the price stayed the same as it was last year. Cup of delicious latte coffee with piece of pastry and scoop of ice cream, $5. Can you believe it? Um, meal of the day at the local vegetarian place is about $5. Lunch on the beach, a freshly grilled fish with rice and salad is about $7. And eating at the nice restaurant with a glass of vino is about uh, $30. So for eating out, I spent about $150 a month. Health insurance. In Mexico, healthcare is one of the biggest benefits. Private medical insurance for expats costs about $60, $70 a month. And it is really excellent and affordable. 
In Mexico, to see a doctor, dentist, or buying prescriptions is affordable for almost everyone. And even without medical insurance, uh, to see a doctor, you pay just $20 per visit. Dentists are great here and very affordable. I'm myself going through the dental work right now, almost done. And I know back in Canada, for this kind of dental work, I would pay $15,000 and here I paid $5,000 and I'm really satisfied with the quality of work. Um, I can see many, many expats come here just to do a dental work because it costs much less than back home and most of the dentists trained in the US. Transportation. You don't need a car in Puerto Vallarta because there are plenty of local buses with routes all over the bay. Plus, there are taxis and Uber is around. A local bus will go anywhere in the city for 25 pesos, $1.25. Uber is very affordable and the price is determined by the zone. You should always ask for the price before agreeing to the ride, before physically getting into the car and shutting the door. If you have a car in PV, monthly cost for gas is about $150. But I'm talking from my experience because it depends um, on what kind of car you have and how much you drive it. When I arrived to Puerto Vallarta in January 2021, the gas price was 20, no, it was 19.88 pesos, um, 98 cents per one liter for regular gas. Now it's June 2022 and the price went up to 21.68 pesos, which is $1.10. Uh, monthly car insurance is $50. Now parking, mostly parking, parking is free in Puerto Vallarta and areas. But sometimes when I go shopping at um, La Isla Mall, I pay 10 pesos for two, three hours parking. And 10 pesos is 50 cents. I think Puerto Vallarta wins in value and quality of life. What do you think, friends? Please comment below and share your thoughts with me. And one more thing before I go, I want to remind you that my course, How to Move to Puerto Vallarta, is releasing for sale very soon. So if you want to move to Puerto Vallarta and live your best life here like I do, please don't forget to email me so I can get add you on the pre-sale VIP list. And now, thanks for watching, everyone, and I see you next time. Ciao, ciao.